So the first thing we're going to talk about is the battery test. So your voltage detectors, whether they're ours, remember this training is regardless of whose tools you use. It doesn't matter whether they're ours or somebody else's. We have a switch plate that goes to test position. Some folks, they put a push button that goes to test position. A battery test is a battery test. A battery test just tests the battery. Our battery test goes through about 90% of the components inside. It's a pretty good indication that your tool's gonna function well for you, but it's not sure. It's not 100%, let's go. It's just a battery test, anybody's tools. I was at a utility several years ago, and a large one, and I was in front of the work methods people and the safety people, and they used a different, a different tool, which is fine, and I started going into the battery test, and they said that they trained their linemen, and they have been for decades, hundreds of linemen, that the battery test is a true tool functionality test. All right, so tell me, you're using the tool on high voltage, and you're testing a nine volt battery, your battery test, and you're telling me the tool is good on high voltage. That's, that's completely false. There is no transformer inside anybody's tools is stepping up nine volts to high voltage for a true live known voltage test. None. It's just a battery test. So if you use a horn of light or ever go somewhere or been somewhere that uses a horn of light, a noisy, a noisy maker, you want to see in here. Okay. If you don't see in here, change out the battery with a known good battery. You just simply change the battery, take out the quick change where your live line tool goes on to. You take out the quick change, bump it a little bit, battery comes out, put a new one in, retest. If you don't see or hear one of them or both, then the tool's bad. Tag it, send in for repair. We build all these tools from scratch. If you use our tools and one is broken, you dropped it out of the bucket, whatever you did, ran it over, or whatever, we can fix our tools because we built them. An analog tool, these are the old school tools. These are well known throughout the industry. Um, battery test, you want to see that needle deflect. Y'all see that? See that? Is it deflecting? Good. <laughs> I don't know. So if it deflects, you want to see it deflect good, fast, hard, all the way. If it's partial or doesn't move, change out the battery. If it's still partial and doesn't or doesn't move, the tool's broken, send it in for repair. Real simple. A lot, a lot of repairs we get into our shop, all we do is change out the battery, we charge them to send it back. Because they weren't trained to do a live no, or a, a battery test. They weren't trained. They didn't know. So always check the battery. Digital, I prefer digitals much better than horn and light much better than analog. The reason why is because digitals are more robust. They don't have moving parts, first of all, like the analogs. The springs, the needles, all these things that we, we want to move in those analogs, all these things, if they're dropped, tend to stretch, bend, things like that. They're still robust, absolutely. But digital, there's nothing moving except electrons. So they're much more robust, but on top of that, digital gives you more information. Digital gives you a lot more information that I believe our folks need to have. And the reason why is because knowledge plus understanding, which I hope you guys are getting some understanding today, I hope so, equals safety, right? Success, efficiency, job done so it equals safety so we want to make sure that we have that knowledge understanding equals safety these are better typically the utilities of contractors are going digital these days through a through um what do you call that when something breaks down you replace it but attrition. not until huh i said uh, here it's attrition <laughs> attrition i'm not talking about people getting old and breaking down i'm talking about tools attrition okay so that's, that's what's going on, and there, it's a lot better. So when we do a battery test on a digital, check that out. It gives you the battery voltage. Huh? 
That's more information. What's your name? Adam. Adam? Yes. Adam. Do you see that? I do. Okay, good. All right. So it gives you more information. Does that make sense? The, we know the battery is good. If you're seeing seven volts or less, change out the battery. Seven volts. All right.